Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for April 15th, 2020. Yesterday, we had quite a move with the bulls holding on and showing their resilience, wanting to move higher. And um, that was really led by the NASDAQ. Um, we had a tremendous move in the NASDAQ yesterday with Amazon leading the way as huge demand for online shopping. Um, not a big surprise during um, economic shutdowns and uh, closures all over the place that Amazon uh, numbers have moved up. And we mentioned yesterday at uh, several of those companies that um, are getting some benefits from uh, these, uh, well, these economic uh, hardships that other companies are experiencing, such as Walmart and Costco and things like that, those companies coming along and moving higher. So what do we face this morning? Well, we have kind of an interesting day shaping up. So how about we grab ourselves something to eat, something to drink, and let's settle in and get ready for the morning market prep video. So, looking at this morning's market, we've got a, well, we've got some decisions to make. First, we have a huge day of data coming out. And unfortunately, most of that data is likely to be um, disappointing uh, to the market. We'll look at that in just a second. Plus, we have a big day, uh, our second uh, day of earnings reports as we enter this new earnings season. And a lot of the big banks and things will be reporting this morning. So let's take a look at what we've got going on here. First, let's take a look at the technicals of the chart. See if we can determine what, what we've got going on here. If you take a look right here, if I draw a line across this area where we are right now, pull this back, you can see we're running into some significant levels of price resistance here in the chart. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that we have to stop um, moving up. It just means that we have a caution point that we should be respecting. When a price, um, when index prices run into resistance, we need to take note of that. We should also kind of take note, I'm going to grab a Fibonacci tool. I'm not a big Fibonacci guy because Fibonacci um, is all about trying to predict where the market goes um, rather than um, just paying attention to the price action of the chart. But as you can see, we have now retraced 50% of the down move here in the market. Now, when we come up that strongly, up 50%, um, and we still don't know anything about the economic numbers. As a matter of fact, we haven't even experienced the economic numbers just yet, uh, the true impacts. What this shows us is the power of the Fed. Um, in my opinion, it shows us the power of the Fed. $7.3 trillion being uh, pounded into the market by the Federal Reserve and, of course, the federal government's stimulus plan. Um, all that money being pumped out into the economy, um, attempting to hold things up. And you can see the power of the Fed right here because in, in actuality, we still don't even know the impacts of this uh, virus. We've, we've not really heard from any of the companies yet what the true impacts are. And we're just now going to start seeing the major impacts trickle into the economic numbers. So having said that, we want to be a little bit careful realizing that we've rallied back 50%, a very strong run to the upside. In the last eight days, the Dow or the Diamonds has rallied a, a tremendous percentage and any kind of rally like that we have to consider the possibility when we run into resistance the the possibility of a pullback or a longer lengthier 
consolidation. So kind of consider that we could be reaching a point where we may have exhausted some of those bulls willing to rush in um, this market. We may be getting close to that point. Now, if we were to pull back just to here, that's a significant pullback in the market. And you'll want to watch that pretty closely if that is the case. And if that is the case, we could just be testing this trend trying to bounce up off of there. So it doesn't mean that um, everything falls apart if we have that pullback, but we do have to recognize the fact that a pullback or a consolidation may be uh, coming um, around. And right now this morning, we're looking at a gap down that's fairly significant. Now, just an hour ago, or less than an hour ago, Dow futures were down 400 points. Right now we're down 350 points. So you can see we're looking at a bit of a gap down. And what's amazing is because these candles cover so much price action, this looks like, this, these candles look pretty innocuous. They look like those little tiny spinning top dojis. But understanding that that right there is a gap down of more than 350 points, gives you that little bit of pause because if we were to pull back all the way down into here we're looking at a, a 1500 point move in the dow which um, a lot of folks are going to be shocked by if uh, that were to occur and here's the thing even if we did pull back into that area just just note if we pulled back even down into here we have not broken the trend to the upside yet so kind of keep that in mind. These pullbacks could be pretty extreme if the market gets at that shock um, in the market. So just be a little bit careful and cautious here. If we take a look at our uh, moving averages here on the chart, notice that running into that resistance, we're up above our 34 EMA. And we don't have that 50-day moving average too far away. So it is still possible that we could find enough bullish energy in here in earnings reports and things like that to try and attempt an attack of that 50-day moving average. Let's note that the 50-day moving average is still dropping pretty quickly and it has crossed down through the 200 and 500. So we should not be expecting a true V bottom where we just come all the way back. Um, let's let's just be realistic here and realize that we have recovered substantially. Be careful not to chase this rally so deep into this move. Let's go back and take a look at the SPY here really quick. SPY, very similar situation. Um, I'm going to pull this back and drop a line right in here. And as you can see, we rallied up and we popped our head right into some substantial price resistance here in the chart. And if we take a look at our moving averages, we are so close to rallying up into that 500 day moving average. Let me clear these lines here for just a second. Right there, that's the 500 day moving average. And that 50 day moving average is about ready to cross down through there, creating an interesting level of price resistance right in here with um, a price level in the chart and the 50 crossing down that 500 so kind of an interesting situation this is also one of those where we rallied significantly we want to respect price resistance in the chart and be careful not to um, be chasing so late into the rally let's take a look at uh, the nasdaq now the nasdaq has really defied um, all odds and is really showing the power of the Fed here completely. I'm going to go to um, this naked chart and as you can see here, if I were to measure um, on a Fib basis from market highs to the market low, and I let me adjust this just a tiny little bit, market highs to mar market low, we have retraced more than 61.8%, which is remarkable considering the fact we still don't know anything about what the true impacts of this virus are. And as that data begins to come out um, over the next couple of months, um, let's see if this can actually hold those levels. Now, technically, we've rallied back above that 50-day moving average. So any pullback in here, would we're going to be looking for that 
um, hold of that 50 day that 50 day to maybe start flattening that curve out maybe try to hold that 50 day moving average and with some of those big techs that didn't have uh, major impacts everybody's still using their computers everybody's still using uh, data everybody's still uh, buying online some of these may um, hold up better than others so we'll have to watch this pretty closely um, remember that 50-day moving average is still dropping pretty fast and what would be a damaging blow in the Nasdaq if we were to happen to fail back down below those levels back down below that 200 and have that 50 crossing down the 200 that could be a major problem if price gets back down here and keep in mind that those are some pretty big moves um, in the chart so watch that closely and you can see this morning NASDAQ is gapping down so be careful in chasing let's take a look at IWM IWM certainly the weakest of the indexes in here right now only challenging it's 34 EMA and if you take a look here all we've done so far in, in the Russell is rally back up to test the resistance of the 2018 lows um, pretty dismal in this chart and let's keep in mind a pullback just to here would be substantial um, in number and there is our trend so if we could hold in here that would be great if we fail through there we could have some troubles ahead and let's take a look that IWM is giving up um, the last couple of days um, here in uh, the right at the open and we're pushing down into that level of support uh, first thing this morning with a pretty substantial gap down so be really really careful here um, in your look at these charts um, be careful chasing and be careful being caught up in that emotion now I took a lot longer to explain that this morning and I hope you understand why I did and take a look at those technicals in the chart and um, and understand that we really have to focus in on this price action and make sure that we're not overdoing this um, and getting caught on the wrong side of this market so with that let's take a quick look at the VIX now the VIX interestingly enough yesterday had a pretty good pullback and we're looking at a failure of that 50-day moving average here on the VIX now taking a look at some of the drawings that I have notice that we do have a bit of price support in this chart right across here if we find that price support um, and I, I think likely today with the futures pulling back we're going to see that bounce now whether it bounces enough to be significant I can't tell you that but we may see a little bit of a fear um, rally happen uh, this morning um, can't say that it will hold throughout the day but if um, we do start to perk back up here with a little bit of fear we'll want to keep an eye uh, closely on that VIX let's take a look at T2122 now T2122 is really the the thing that had me warning all the members of right way options yesterday to think about taking some profits to be careful not to be adding a whole lot of risk and to be careful not to be chasing um, extended stocks and you can see we're right back up here in that push up yesterday right back up here in that bearish reversal zone so we went from extremely oversold to extremely overbought in a very quick period of time and I want to point out that we can stay up here you can see there's been periods in the market where we've stayed up here in that region for a while so we can bounce around up here and I don't want to give the impression that we're due for an automatic just collapse to the downside I don't want to give that impression at all but what I would want to um, caution on is to be careful with your over trading um, long just in case we do get that selling wave that comes in and I think if we do get that selling wave it could be a relatively strong one so watch that carefully um, in this chart now it's possible we just consolidate right in here and if we consolidate that's wonderful a consolidation after such a strong rally means that the market is strong and if if it can hold up here wonderful but let's watch that carefully um, and try not to get ourselves too extended um, in the market let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today 
and our economic calendar has got a few things going on here that we'll want to pay attention to. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to grab that. Um, that we'll want to pay attention to big days and we've got our big economic numbers coming out today we've got retail sales they're looking at a negative number in retail sales and we can imagine it could even be a shocking number um, as we start getting the full impacts of the virus into uh, some of these numbers empire straight state manufacturing industrial production business inventories housing market index by the way we did get the mortgage applications this morning and mortgage applications showed a little increase in applications however they were all um they were all refinance finances there was no um, um numbers in there that showed that we had new buying going on in the housing market they're all refi and then we've got that petroleum status report we've got a fed speaker today beige book and treasury international now these numbers up here are the ones that could move us around significantly so let's watch those closely this morning as they come out they could be market moving events so watch those today and keep in mind that on uh, thursday we have housing starts, jobless claims, and that Philly Fed. All of those are potential market moving events as well. So plan your risk into the evening carefully. On the earnings calendar today, we have a significant number of earnings uh, coming out. And let's take a look at some of those companies that are reporting this morning. Um, we've got BAC, Bank of America, reporting this morning. As you can see, they are moving lower this morning. So our finance financial companies, um, yesterday after that little bit of a pop that we had after JP Morgan, and all of them turned a bit lower yesterday. So BAC looking to gap a little bit lower this morning um, on their news. Uh, Goldman Sachs also reporting, but Goldman's holding up a little bit better, just a little tiny gap lower here this morning. Let's take a look. There's also BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond will be reporting this morning. Gonna be hard for me to imagine that they're going to report well. Um, considering the majority of their stores are closed. So watch that closely. We'll want to um, be really careful on a lot of these earnings reports. Um, um, Schwab will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on Schwab. We also have Morgan Stanley reporting today. Morgan Stanley at this point looking to move a little bit lower um, at the open. PNC Financial, PNC reporting this morning. And you can see they may be moving just slightly lower this morning. I'm not sure if those numbers are out yet. How about Citibank? Citibank moving lower this morning. Um, as you can see, moving on down. PGR, progressive, still no report here. Big wide bid ass spread here, as you can see on my chart. And um, last but not least of the notables, um, UNH, United Health, will be reporting this morning. And looks like they are moving slightly higher here this morning. It wouldn't be a big surprise to see healthcare um, showing some strength here. Um, in light of their um, uh, tremendous need right now um, in our world. So watch that uh, carefully this morning. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up, stocks that you might want to be paying attention to um, heading forward. And but before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click those thumbs up buttons if you believe this video was helpful to you and provided you with some decent information on how to prepare for the day. And if you drop a, a brief comment, that also helps out tremendously, helps uh, the channel continue to grow. And I want to say thank you so much to everyone who does that. Make sure you click Click that bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for all of your support to the channel. I truly appreciate it. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that we might want to be paying attention to. One of the first things I want to bring to your attention is gold. Um, 
gold has had a tremendous run up and as you can see gold putting in a little bit of a shooting star type top gap up to a shooting star type top but if fear starts creeping into this market again and i think that may be a possibility after such an extended run in the market we actually could see gold responding uh, continuing to respond higher gold is that safe haven play and with so much money being plowed into the market by the federal government and the fomc um, this is also a hedge to potential inflation in the future so watch that carefully um, we've seen big moves in stocks like um, barrick gold whoops barrick gold uh, big strong moves newmont mining um, big strong moves um AUY anything in the gold sector has had a pretty good move up watch for a little pullback and then keep an eye on that opportunity maybe for that next rally to the upside want to watch that pretty closely take a look at stocks like um SLB now this morning oil is pushing back to the downside but I like the way this chart could be setting up in the fact that we've pushed up and now we're pulling back and if we find some price support in this area right in here if we can get those bulls to pop off of this there may be some opportunity in some of these oil stocks as they pull back watch them pretty closely in uh, these charts other places that you might want to look is in the tech sector in this tech area um, a lot of stocks in the tech area holding strength um, overall if we take a look like nv da nvidia having nice patterns here breaking through some price resistance levels yesterday so any rest consolidation pullback in here that holds into that trend would have some opportunities for upside uh, um, upside moves watch that closely i would expect some kind of a rest or pullback at any time now but watch that and we could see these really beginning to move on up and attack um, all-time highs here in the chart Nvidia looking pretty good AMD AMD I mentioned this one yesterday this had a really nice move um, AMD popping up through here you can see right through this area moving on up now I think this is an, an overly extended move we'll want to watch this carefully there's a high probability of a rest or pullback but if this moves sideways or pulls back and holds into this trend still great opportunities could be coming in those charts last but not least um, i mentioned this yesterday as well but baba baba is one of those charts if china is in its recovery phase um, in the market and i believe it may be true that it is in its um, recovery phase as you can see breaking that downtrend here holding it as support running in this trend we gapped up substantially and pulled back i would watch this area in here for that pullback pull back into support uh, for that opportunity for that next move higher so with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day i'm sorry the video went a little bit long this morning i want to wish you all a great day i want to wish you great success be careful dow futures right now down 382 and um, as we approach that market open and all of this data that's going to be coming out here soon um, watch carefully anything is possible just be careful not to over trade um, a market that's running into that resistance le those resistance levels and um, appears a bit overextended in the short term everyone take care have an awesome awesome day and i wish you great success talk to you all bright and early thursday morning have a good one